Current research is, uh, my res previous research was an identity and belonging of young American Muslims, but now is an investigation into the radicalization of young American Muslims. Uh, so radicalization, I'm trying to find out the causes on, on people's observation. So do you think that radicalization is a problem? You know, it is an issue in the society. Some, some young people or some people have been to uh, Iraq or overseas, and another thing is uh, the for the CV uh, or the um, entrapment. Which group is more likely to be uh, fall in this group, in this category? New converts are they getting the real message of Islam? Um, so I think that these things are the status. What the statistics tells? Um, which group is more likely to be to entrapped? Unfortunately, thank you. Kathy, that's you. Well, the radic um, radicalization, I mean, that's a problematic word, but because um, radical just means getting to the root of something. But aside from that, um, the FBI, you know, and CVE, when they have their signifiers of radicalism, it's things that have nothing to do with terrorism, like becoming more religious, practicing your religion more, yeah, growing a beard, like ridiculous things that have, I mean, not, they're not ridiculous things, but you know, they're not anything to do with terrorism. So, you know, it comes back to what I was saying earlier as far as when people are vulnerable to, you know, joining groups like ISIS, it's a lot of times because they're alienated and they're not able to deal with those feelings in their community, they're not able to talk about it. So, um, but the idea of when the FBI talks about radicalization, it's in CVE, you know, the signs, that's just I mean, and, and the, ridiculous, the line you know. Is that they are the ones radicalizing. Yeah. Well, and then when they, yeah, they decide to try to entrap somebody, they're gonna push them in that direction to get to the point where they can arrest them. And, you know. yeah. So who can, who can guess which organization has recruited the most people, uh, most Muslims in America for terrorist plots or terrorist groups? Yeah. FBI, publicly. It's not a conspiracy, it's just well known. Uh, the majority of, of those uh, involved in these uh, operations have often been done at the hands of informants and usually the judges themselves will admit had it not been for the FBI, this person yeah, he would not have become a terrorist, but they still won't apply the entrapment defense, which doesn't make sense. Um, and when it comes to radicalization, the biggest domestic terrorism threat is from white supremacists, but you don't hear the government talking about how they can you know, counter this white supremacist violent extremism. Unfortunately, the whole CVE narrative in the US has become a way of targeting and undermining the freedom and the liberty of the Muslim community. Uh, is there a threat of uh, Muslim youth being uh, taken advantage of? Yeah, there is, just like there's a threat of any youth being taken advantage of, just like there's a threat of predators targeting youth regardless of their race or religion. And for us, one person joining a gang or being recruited by sexual predators or trying to join Daesh is one too many. So of course, as concerned parents, we will do our best to protect our children from all forms of predators because they all use the same exact tactics in their predatory behavior. They try to target vulnerable people, try to give them a sense of belonging and take advantage of them and exploit them sexually, exploit them for gangs, exploit them for profit. There's no particular problem. The problem with the whole CV narrative is it targets the Muslim community in particular as if there's some disproportionate threat. Therefore, they don't have to talk about how what really creates radicals isn't a, a, a 2,000 year old book but it's a, you know, a, a, a $2 million drone bomb that just killed an entire family. That's what radicalizes people. It's not books, it's not religion, but that's not the conversation that they wanna have.